The Sims 4 Realm of Magic comes with a variety of different spells that your Sims can learn to enhance their lives, including the Copy Pasto spell, where you can turn one object into many, there's the Burgliate spell, which allows Sims to steal objects from other Sims, and there's even the Morphiate spell, where you can transform Sims into inanimate objects. We will have to be careful though, as this level of sorcery does come at a price. Casting too many spells in a short period of time can bring Sims an assortment of devastating curses and could potentially cause overcharging or even death. But hopefully I can turn some sims into couches today because I plan on building an entire house using only magic in The Sims 4. But before we jump into the realm of magic, let me tell you a little bit about our sponsor for today. One thing about me, I love an anime art style. I used to love drawing my own anime characters. So now when I find games that are not only fun, but have amazingly designed characters in them, I get so excited. Such as the sponsor of today's video, Honkai Star Rail. This game is so beautiful. It's a multi-platform space fantasy RPG from Hoyoverse, the makers of Genshin Impact, which is another amazing game. With Honkai Star Rail, you can explore different worlds across the universe while participating in strategic turn-based combat, finding adventures, solving puzzles, and uncovering over 30 unique characters. It's a free-to-play cross-platform game available on PC, PS5, and mobile devices with shared data between all platforms. They even won three Best Game Awards in 2023. And Honkai Star Rail has just released its version 1.6 update, which features two new five-star characters, a four-star character, and new maps and events. Let me show you the new characters. This is Ron Mai, she's elegant, she's mysterious, and she's an ice type character that follows the path of harmony. And then there's Dr. Ratio. And no, I didn't just make that up. Yes, that really is his name. <laughs> He's basically a graceful and poised genius whose interests lie in spreading knowledge. He's an imaginary type character that follows the path of the hunt. You can also try out a new four star character, Joyi, a quantum type character on the path of destruction who can deplete enemy toughness. This will all happen on a new map called the Seclusion Zone. And if that's not exciting, enough, this update will also see the return of Stellaron Hunters, Blade, and Kafka. Make sure to log in on January 17th, 2024 to receive one copy of Dr. Ratio, which is the first time Honkai Star Rail is giving out a limited 5-star character. Download Honkai Star Rail now using the link down in my description below to experience these new characters and all the new content the update has to offer. You can also use the code down in my description to redeem 50 Stellar Jade. Thank you so much to Honkai Star Rail for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. This is Fea, and she is the ultimate spellcaster. She loves mischief and mayhem, and she's known for pulling pranks in the magic realm. So she has been studying magic for a very long time. She has all of the spells in the game unlocked, so she will be able to perform every spell we need today. She also has enough spellcaster perks unlocked so that her chance of spellcaster overload is reduced. She definitely isn't perfect, but I'm hoping it's gonna be enough, because because every time I play this game, somebody dies. I just made her and I love her, but the last thing I needed was another beautiful white-haired elf in my life. For a little bit more context, Fea is a materialistic, kleptomaniac, nosy sim, which is a newer trait that came with The Sims 4 for rent. And she's also dastardly because she has the chief of mischief aspiration. I just love a mischievous little elf, what can I say? Our money is set to zero. We are starting with absolutely absolutely nothing. This is the empty lot we're starting with in Glimmerbrook. So the only way we can build a house is by using magic to acquire objects to put in it, or by selling the objects that we've acquired by magic. And I basically want to see which spells are the best at making money, so we don't need to get a silly old job. Those are for non-magical folk. And the first spell I want to focus on is the Burgliate spell, so let's travel to the magic realm and start there. This is actually where Fea grew up. She has has learned everything she knows here, but today we're turning on them. I want a magical aesthetic for my house and this is the perfect place to find that. But first, I know everyone loves to make fun of the Realm of Magic builds, but look at that. I just want to renovate this so bad. Anyway, the first thing any spellcaster needs is a cauldron, which I actually can't steal. Are you kidding me? Is this locked behind some sort of magic spell or something? So I guess the next thing I 
Magician Steel is the magic bookshelf. So coming in here and using the spells, I'm gonna choose Burgliate. Wait, did she just do it from there? Faya just stole that from the bottom floor of this building. She was nowhere near it. Oh, right. That's because Faya can use Spectral Reach, so she can cast spells without going up to them from pretty much anywhere on the lot. Sorry, I forgot we had a baddie on our hands. And we successfully burgliated an object without drawing any attention. I'm just gonna take another one of these. Ooh, but the catch here is that we're not gonna be able to spam this because we have a four hour cooldown before I can use the burgliate spell again. Maybe in the meantime, I should play it cool, pretend I'm actually here studying. And while experimenting with the cauldron, I learned that because I already know every spell, the experimenting with the cauldron action will just gain us a bunch of magical supplies that we could use later to sell. We got some sick crystals like citrine and emerald, and even a couple fish from the cauldron, which is boiling hot. I think they're still alive. At this rate, I can make an aquarium. All right, our burgliate spell cooldown is done, and I'm gonna have to choose wisely for the objects that I take. So I set my sights on this fridge, not because I even need it to eat, but I think we can sell this for some cash. Oh no, she got caught. Faya got caught, but still burgliated the object. Ooh. I'm just gonna try and charm the teachers into thinking I'm doing nothing wrong. And actually getting caught gives me an eight hour cooldown as opposed to four. She's not the best at this so far. I'm sure her teacher right now is probably giving her a bit of a talking to and she's like, oops, sorry, won't happen again. <laughs> Here. This was a fairly unsuccessful stealing sesh. So I was heading elsewhere to use my magic in a different way. This time I'm heading to the Glimmerbrook bar to see if there are any sims I can transform. There's Elphaba. She's a teacher in the magic realm. She'll definitely be on to us. Who are you? I feel like we could turn this guy into something. I'm gonna click on the Morpheate spell. I've actually never seen this happen before. Andy's outside, so hopefully no one will see us do it. Oh no. Uh-oh. Oh! oh. <gasps> This man turned into a rabbit. Oh my gosh. But like, can I sell him? <laughs> I think it's only temporary. I'm pretty sure. But the problem is I can't pick up this object. I kind of want to see how long this lasts. Oh, there he is. Okay, he's back. Okay, he's back and he's walking off like nothing ever happened. That lasted about three hours. In the meantime, I was trying to get rid of this pesky embarrassed moodlet by giving myself a pep talk in the mirror so I could, you know, steal again. So feeling a little bit more refreshed, we're heading back to the magic realm. My first target was this oven, another pricey object, and we stole that no problem. And while waiting for the cooldown, I spend my time experimenting and finding more valuables. Even though she's magical, she's still getting hungry. So we're gonna solve that problem by using the Delicioso spell, which just made pieces of pizza. Imagine you could do that in real life. And I feel like, why am I stealing fridges and ovens when I can just make pizza out of thin air? Oh, there it is, the jackpot of all jackpots. I know this picture is worth a little bit of money. I'm coming down here and stealing this painting, like, right now. No, I think she got caught again. She is not subtle at all. So I calmed her down one more time in front of the mirror, stole one more item for the road, and headed home to start building my house. Okay, Faya is home. It's the middle of the night and we need a bed to sleep. All of my stolen items so far are found in my inventory. And actually these are pretty good items to steal. Everything that I stole is over 2,000 simoleons except for the bookshelf, which is still not bad. So for the objects that I don't plan on using, I'm just gonna sell them. That gives us over 10,000 already. So I think for her house, I wanna build an A-frame house. So I'm gonna start off with my room tool and just build a shell like this. Super simple and this is not gonna take up too much money on the outside because we're relying on roofing a lot, which is zero simoleons. So we're starting off here with a half gabled roof piece. I'm bringing in all of the adjusters and I'm bringing it in so it's only one tile wide. I'm holding Alt on my keyboard and bringing it up to meet 
underneath the top of the room. And then I'm gonna copy and paste that and put it over on the other side. Now we're gonna take a full gabled roof piece. We're gonna put that on top and extend it over for the full length of the room. We're gonna bring in the adjusters again, doing it on both sides. I'm gonna bring it in again so it's one tile wide. And then holding Alt on my keyboard again, I'm gonna bring that up just so it matches the slope of this other roof piece. And we're gonna want no bumps. It's gonna take a little bit of playing around and adjusting, but once we get the shape we want, it's gonna look something like that. And I'm actually gonna bring the adjusters out again on one side holding shift. Now I'm gonna copy those roofing pieces that I just made over to the back. So everything that I made is coming over to the other side. I'm gonna copy the same roof piece again and put it in the middle. And we're gonna pull that over to cover the house. I'm actually gonna use the greenhouse paint. So now we have something like that. And then we're gonna do the same thing here, just copy and pasting the roofing, pulling it across. And then I can use the same roof paint here if I want to. I could just leave it so it's just that part showing. But then for this side, I actually wanna bring the room out a little bit. We're gonna use some black roof paint. I think I want the outside to be pretty dark. I think for my fence up here, I'm gonna use this one from Get Together. We're gonna have some little awkward gaps in between the roofing, but I can easily cover that up with plants. And I think for my windows and doors, I'm gonna use them from Growing Together. This way I'm gonna be able to use some different ones in different variations. And it has that like gothic style that I'm kind of going for. And to make my foundation not look so weird, I'm gonna bring out some of the foundation this way using a fence. And I also need to hide that gap going underneath my roofing. So I'm again, just gonna bring the fence over this way. I'm gonna wrap it all the way around the back. And then I just have to connect it onto the actual house. Now we can just match the foundation. And I'm kind of not really worrying about money right now. I feel like we're going to make more than enough using the strategies that we've got, which is resulting in most of our money like already gone from 10,000 simoleons. I'm down to two and I'm not even done the exterior yet. I did say I needed some lighting because it is so dark here. So I'm just gonna buy a few lights to put around. I'm down to 900 simoleons. I'm gonna have to stop and start working on the interior. I'm gonna delete some of these walls, which will give me a little money back. I'm gonna add my lighting in here as well. And right now my only concern is finding a bed for my needs. So maybe I'll get this one. I'll bring in my bookshelf and my lonely picture. Actually, you know what? We are gonna sell this painting. We're gonna do black flooring, probably with black wallpaper, but then I'll change the lighting and add purple objects to tie it all together. I'm gonna give her a purple rug. And I also need a bathroom, which I think I'm gonna have to have underneath that overhang, just because if I don't, you're gonna be able to see directly inside it. That's the thing about having a glass A-frame house. So we'll actually move this stuff over here and I'll just make my bathroom in this little spot right there. We'll add a door and I can't go too crazy with my objects right now. So I'm just gonna get a toilet on the cheaper side, but not too cheap. I could also use spells to like upgrade these items. So even if I do buy a cheaper toilet, I can upgrade so it's like a better one. We'll do a black sink from high school years. I'm gonna use the mirror from werewolves and I'm running a little low here. I just need a bathtub over in this corner. Okay, I'm not gonna add anything else for now. Our sim is so tired, she's gonna go to sleep. This is actually not bad. For 10 grand, an entire exterior furnished and all we had to do was steal a few things. Let's see what happens tomorrow. The next thing I really wanna buy is a cauldron so that I can collect more items I can use for the copy and paste spell. She is hungry, so we should just whip up some breakfast real quick. Is that a steak? Rack of lamb for breakfast, I mean. We should also probably consider getting a dining table in the near future. I can't believe this girl just whipped up rack of lamb for breakfast. I mean, if you could cook anything you wanted, I still wouldn't make that, but still. I was feeling a little extra mischievous today, and I was determined to turn a sim into an object and then sell it. I thought maybe if I was on my home lot, I would have better luck. I think I'm gonna target Simeon because he's the one that keeps catching us steal things. So let's invite him to hang out at our current lot. Oh no, he's not wearing his magic attire. He is far less intimidating this way anyway. Hello, Simeon. What is she doing? She is so sus and she does not even hide it. All right, we're gonna attempt to use the Morpheate spell and let's see what he turns into. Oh, a fish, a fish. Really, of all the things, this is gonna sell for nothing. Can I just pick him up and sell him? I don't think I can do that, unfortunately. I wish more than anything that I could just turn around and sell this fish or like copy and paste it and then sell it. Fea is over it. She just walked right over the fish. So unfortunately, we can't turn sims into objects that I can use for my house, but I have another idea. And for this one, we're traveling all the way over to Evergreen 
Green Harbor. I need to find a lot with a dumpster, so I'm choosing this bar here in Evergreen. <laughs> I'll leave Simeon on my porch. And for this magic spell, we're going to have to get our hands dirty, literally. Sims are also able to repair and clean up objects using magic, which I've actually done an entire series on where I renovated this super gross house using magic. So we're not gonna focus too much on these spells, but my plan is going to be to dive for things in the dumpster and that way hopefully we can find items that we can repair and either use for the house or sell. But in the meantime, what can I steal from here? The only thing I can really see of value is this TV or maybe that jukebox and everyone is over here in this room. So we need a distraction. What if I lit a sim on fire? We're going to use the Inferniate spell on this unsuspecting sim with the mohawk. Oh no. And hopefully that will cause all of the sims to freak out. Wait, did it work? Yes, the sim's on fire. Perfect. Now we're going to attempt to steal the TV. Oh no, you didn't burn long enough. Oh no, everyone's gonna know. She got caught, but we still got it. Poor Faya is so bad at this. But that's okay, enough time has gone by that we are gonna go die for deals in the dumpster next to these rats. Imagine witnessing this series of events. People probably think I'm crazy, but I don't really care. My house is going to look amazing. So I spent the afternoon diving for deals and diving and diving for more. And I feel like the game is mocking us at this point because we made eight simoleons. Oh, we found a chair. I'm gonna keep doing this until it doesn't allow me to anymore. And have after all that, we have 10 simoleons in a chair. <laughs> Luckily, I can use magic to just kind of clean myself up a little bit. The scrubberoo spell allows you to like clean yourself basically. And to look like that, we are good as new. Oh my gosh, it's bear night at this bar that I'm at, which means Sims are just gonna start showing up looking like bears. So maybe if I put on a bear costume, no one will know that it was me. I'm gonna go give myself another pep talk to get rid of this moodlet. And then we are changing into a bear costume. So the bear costume costumes that I have here come from Outdoor Retreat. So we're gonna go back to the bar in this. I've changed into my bear costume and now I'm gonna attempt to steal this jukebox. Look at all these unsuspecting bears. No one will ever suspect this bear. I don't think she got caught. Are you guys kidding me? Look at <laughs> Whatever, I've ordered a drink. I got what I needed. We're definitely not making $10,000 today, but we got something. A whole lot of memories. She looks like she has had the longest day. I'm leaving the drink. I am stomping my little bear butt out the door. The moodlet's down here and like her icon while she's a bear is so funny. I think this is how I'm just gonna live now. So in my inventory, I now have 1,400 simoleons from the jukebox and I have this TV worth 3,500, but there is a cheaper one that personally I like a little bit better. So I'm selling the TV and I think I'm gonna sell the jukebox for 1400. This chair here, we could sell for 90, which is actually surprising because this looks burnt to me. And normally when the things are burnt, you have to repair them and then sell them. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So now I have over 5,000 simoleons. I'm going to buy a cauldron, which I think I wanna actually put up on my balcony. We'll need a ladder going up. And I also wanted to start working on a dining table with some chairs. I'm gonna get this rug here from high school years. We'll add a moon lamp on top of there. And I'm gonna give her some curtains here from Seasons. I think once I do buy a TV, it's going to be facing this way. So I think before I do get the TV, I'm going to add my couch. So everything is going to be facing that wall. I'm gonna use a spot A divider to kind of separate my bedroom. And then I did end up adding glass roofing out here. What if we added an archway and then that can lead into maybe a garden space? Like I could add a few pots in here and I was reading that apparently you can use the copy pasto spell on like garden plants and even the money tree. So that could be something that we work towards. I'm gonna add a big fireplace. I also still need a dresser. So I'm gonna put that in the corner and I'm also gonna get her a mirror basically just so that whenever she gets embarrassed, she can use a nice pretty one. And we have 32 simoleons left after all that. So after another successful day of stealing, but an unsuccessful day for my ego, I was heading back to bed. I whipped myself up another meal and this time it was spaghetti at 6 a.m. But each day seemed to be getting better as now we had a dining table. She's kind of giving like Sabrina and the Teenage Witch. Okay, I keep getting these phone calls. This is like the second one that I've got from people saying, hey, I heard you like to steal things. I don't think I want you in my home anymore. Faya is definitely getting a bad reputation. 
Actually, someone just invited me to GeekCon. There are rocket ships there. This is the sim that I lit on fire. I don't think you want me anywhere near you, but okay. Why is this sim that I came with dressed up like the Grim Reaper? Are you gonna kill me? Look at that big, beautiful rocket ship. Now I can't steal it. Wait, I've never seen this. On the Blick Block like gaming stations, it says even magic can't seem to get past the modern marvels of a handy sim. I can't steal anything here. Are you kidding me? You knew this the whole time. Eh, she doesn't really seem that phased. The only thing I found that I can steal here is this talking toilet, which is honestly karma probably. Oh, and I think she got caught again. I'm gonna steal the other one just because. Nice, and we didn't even get caught that time. In the meantime, this event has like a goal apparently, and that goal is to work on the rocket. Sounds like free labor to me. But apparently our suspicious Grim Reaper friend did that, so I'm just gonna stick around and see if I get a prize and apparently build my karaoke skill. Honestly, this sim might be just as crazy as I am. Well, the event is over and I didn't get a prize. I think I'm gonna light this on fire and leave just to see what happens, you know? Ooh. That's gonna take a while to clean up. See ya, losers. Before I go, I like this chair, so I'm gonna take it. I got caught again, but I don't care. The two talking toilets were actually kind of a jackpot. They sell for 2,000 each. So that's 4,000 simoleons. I am planning on keeping this little cushion. I think what I wanna do is at least get some kind of kitchen. So I'm moving my dining table forward and we're gonna add just like a couple counters in the back. I'm basically just doing this if like I ever had people over, but at this right? I don't think anyone's gonna want to be my friend anyway. So I'm thinking we just get like a fridge with like a tabletop oven, some room for prep, and a sink. And in the middle of the night, we had an unexpected visitor. Oh no, we have Vlad coming in. He thinks he's gonna turn me into a vampire, but I'm already a spellcaster, so do you mind? Wait, this could actually be a battle. Vampire versus spellcaster? He's the top of his class. I'm the top of mine. If I can wake up in time, wake up. She's- she's She's dreaming about stealing. Oh God, get up. Oh no, mesmerized. We are getting a taste of our own medicine right here. Wait, she snapped out of it enough to cast a spell. She avoided being drank from. Hold on, that was actually very successful. I thought we were a goner. I am turning you into an object. Everyone welcome Vlad the bunny. <laughs> I wanna sell you so bad. I can't get over the fact that she won that fight while mesmerized. No one messes with Fea. These are the consequences. Since I'm up and probably not going back to sleep anytime soon, I wanna shift our focus to the copy pasto spell. While we can't use the spell on big items, we can't can use it on smaller things in our inventory. The most expensive items I have right now are these crystals, so let's try it on those. And now I have two. Wait, is this endless? I can do this as many times as I want, I think. These are only worth 30 simoleons. So I'm not gonna get rich quick using these, but like if I could find a better gem, we're gonna have so many of these. I could have a whole gem farm. She's feeling a little overcharged, so I do have to be careful. Oh no, this is the spellcaster overload. Please don't die, please don't die. We're not rich yet. I'm gonna allow her to take a proper bath after that. If she can even get there past all of these gems on the floor. Yeah, she can't. Okay, we need to sell some of these. I'm selling all of these except for one of each and I can use this for decor like around my house. I can definitely put a bunch on my fireplace and our next goal is to exploit the copy pasto spell. I was lurking around on reddit as one does and I found out that you can use this spell on the money tree except there's one problem. Getting the money tree is kind of annoying. To get it we have to have enough aspiration points to spend at the reward store and the money tree costs 5,000 of those. So to get more points I'm spending the next couple days trying to max out this aspiration, which should be no problem for a mischievous little elf like myself. Basically, all I have to do is perform 10 mean or mischievous interactions and be disliked by two sims. So I went around the magic realm and started picking fights with everybody. Then I needed to use a computer to cause mischief three times, but there's one problem. I don't have a computer. So I traveled to the library in Windenburg, stole one of the only computers I could find 
mind and used one of their tablets to troll the forums. I already had a very high mischief skill from all the spells I've been casting, so all I needed to do was pull some more pranks and clog the drains of three different locks. And a bunch of clogged drains later and many more mischief skills gained, I had enough satisfaction points to buy the money tree. Not before getting in a lot of trouble by the librarian and not before stealing another computer on the way out. I'm gonna sell those computers that I just stole, which are 4,000 each. I also swiped this picture randomly. I'm gonna sell that. And we're gonna go ahead and purchase the money tree. And now I have the money fruit plant and we should be able to use the copy pasto spell on that. Oh my gosh, I can. We are about to be extremely rich. So I'm gonna use the copy pasto spell on this as many times as I can, keeping an eye on my spellcaster charge, of course. And after doing this, a bunch of times I had so many seeds which I can either sell or plant to get even more. This is honestly so broken but like in a good way. So I'm gonna put a few of these into my inventory. We actually need to plant the money trees outside because the pots I have are too small so I'm just gonna place them out here. I'll keep three at a time maybe. In the rain and everything at least we won't have to water them. And now I'm gonna come in here and sell all of these. And watch that money rise. We now have 36,000 simoleons. That is an insane hack. I think now we're gonna be able to finish up the house and Girly is set for life. I'm gonna add around more landscaping. I can finally cover this awkward spot in my fence. I added more outdoor details like some debug rocks and I wanted to build a pond out here for her and yes, that is another vampire coming back for more. In the back, I just made a picnic space and added some plants along the back of the house. This is what the yard ended up looking like. This is how our magical balcony turned out. And here is the exterior all complete. Next, I went inside and finally bought her the TV she wanted. I also filled the place up with even more whimsical clutter pieces and more crystals, of course. The lighting in here with the glass roof is just top tier. Like, I wish I had this house. And I added extra mirrors in here just in case she gets embarrassed again. For wall decor, I used these paintings from Paranormal. Normal, and I wanted to finish off my interior garden space by using some extra greenery. And as I was showing you guys this place, Fea got up and I kid you not, put on her bear costume. The girl cannot be stopped, I swear. She's ready to get back out there already. Regardless, I'm super happy with how this turned out and I'm glad we learned some new magic tricks along the way. So that is all I got for you guys. I hope you like this video today. I've been wanting to do some Realm of Magic gameplay for a while and I love incorporating gameplay in with building. So let me know if you guys have any other ideas you wanna see me do. And if you like the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.